Marty is, is known for being just a solid teacher, but, but really deeply a kind person. He's the person who would fundraise for a, a family in need, like when a house burned down in the neighborhood. He's the person that would um, buy groceries for somebody who needed it. He's, he shared his, his uh, stipend with a new teacher because the new teacher was doing so well. He's the person that steps up and runs the homework center. He's the person that, that will volunteer first for anything that we need on site, and he will do anything for any student. So well, when I first started working here, Marty was my mentor teacher. And he came to my class, like my first day, and he helped me move all of my desks. And, and he stayed there and made sure I was ready to go. And he is just such an honest, um, helpful, kind person. And like right off the bat, I felt welcome here because of Marty. And um, he's just that type of guy that when you need something, he's going to be there. Um, even if you're not his friend, like if you need something, you can call him and he will be there. And like with union stuff, if there's ever an issue, 90% of the people on campus will call Marty. Even though he's not our ETA rep, he will be there and he will stand right by your side um, in the principal's office and he will sit there with you and support you in whatever you need. All the students that he helped, I mean, if there was a student that, you know, was uh, needed help, they couldn't afford basketball shoes, he would pitch in money, or if they couldn't afford a prom dress or, or just eighth grade dance dress, he'd pitch in money. But in basketball, he encouraged the kids, he wanted them to have fun, and he always wanted to help. And so that what he, his legacy is all the help that we will never see, but that he helped these students and encouraged them to do their best. He's definitely somebody that's gonna go out of their way to help you. Um, he, he will do his best to help you, help the students, he always is a, he's a go-getter. He doesn't want to sit around and like waste time and talk about what should be done. He wants to just do what needs to be done. Um, and it goes with the students. That's how he is with the students, and that's how he is with teachers as well. I mean, if you need a chair, if you need a glue stick, he's got it. He's always on the spot, or he's always there to help you um, when you need something. So When there's a time of need, I'm not going to go into details with that, but Marty was there for me, and he just came and sat with me. And that was, a, you know, was, that's all that was needed to be done. And Marty has a very compassionate heart there for others that he works with. And he's just, he, he gets it. He's a, just a great soul. So a favorite or special memory of Marty is nothing specific, just him always being there for you whenever you needed something, a favor. Um, he was always willing to give a helping hand. Marty, you, uh, you've left a big footprint here, um, whether it be through coaching, um, through um, being part of uh, different uh, teacher forums, um, district-wide as well as school-wide. Um, and I think your um, passion and willingness to work hard for the kids that are working hard for, for themselves through um, honors, honors Night, um, that was, um, it's been something that's um, really powerful and I think the kids really appreciate it and I hope that we continue to um, continue in your footsteps in that way. It may sound like he's hard on the kids but he has he wants these kids to do better and he knows you're gonna cheat a kid by just coddling them and you know he, he just he's that positive male uh, role model that a lot of a lot of the kids in our in our population need. Well thank you for being such a comfortable teacher um, I don't see that a lot of the time, especially when I was in elementary school. Um, a lot of my teachers, they weren't too comfortable to be around, but I enjoy that you're such a, a, per, a, per, a welcoming person with your personality. I know I'm Marty McEwen since the time I started three years ago. I want to say congratulations, Marty. Good luck on your next adventure in life. May you, may you get the best over there in Austin and enjoy, buddy. Mr. McKeon, I was scared to have you at first, but I'm really glad that I got you as my science teacher. You've been trying your hardest to make everyone have fun this year, have fun learning science, and I really did have fun learning science with you. I'm sad that you're retiring, but I hope you have a good life. Someone you can go to and rely on, you know, anytime, you know, Aaron's told the story, anytime he needs somebody to step up and do summer school or, you know, run an after school program or homework center, Marty. Marty steps up and, and does the job, and um, I think everybody knows that you can rely on him and trust him to, to, 
to not only carry his weight, but, but do, do what's right for the school. He just wants to just go out quietly and just leave his legacy just, just the way it is. And I think that there are a lot of teachers, a lot of people, a lot of students that are going to miss him. You know, Marty, it's just that he's never present. He's a guy who's just part of Lego. He's a guy that's always, you he can't think of like sitting down at lunch, although he wasn't there last year, he was missed. So Marty's always, he's, he's just got that, he'll help you. He'll do whatever he can for you. And this year on lockdown, um, he, he opened my heart up because he was so, cared so much for the kids. You don't realize until you're like in a person's class interacting hearing what they're doing, what they're really like. And he helps, he's just a, he's a caring guy. He's got a big bluff character, but he's a caring guy. And he'll help you, he'll help anybody. And so uh, Marty, you're gonna be missed, mate. You're a really good guy. You might have a bit of Irish in you, but I won't hold that against you. Uh, you know, you're a lovely man, and uh, you're gonna miss you. Good luck where you're going.